Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. She's one of the stars of the new movie, Two Sinners and a Mule. Please welcome Chantelle Albers. Chantelle, good morning. Hi. Hi, good to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, we were talking a little bit early before we started recording. I've gone back and looked at some of your work. It's absolutely fabulous. The Sixth Friend loved it. If you like horror movies, definitely check it out. Uh, let's talk Two Sinners and a Mule now. Tell us what's yeah. going on with this new movie that you're a part of. So yeah, Two Sinners and a Mule, it's a Western. Um, it's my first Western that I've done and it was a lot of fun. Uh, we got to add a lot more elements to this film than any other film I've done, such as you know the horseback riding and the fighting and the gun fighting and everything like that. Just such a adventure that's in the film. Yeah, I, I play Alice in the film. Um, she's one of the sinners. Uh, we get kicked out of town. Uh, we are ladies of pleasure, I guess, if you will. Um, we get kicked out by the Women's Decency League and we go on an adventure. We, we find this bounty hunter that's left for dead and uh, we nurse him back to health and we say, oh, you're out for a bounty, huh? Well, you're not in any position to go and, and fight anyone on your own, so we'll team up with you. And uh, he reluctantly lets us and we go on this adventure of finding Grimes, this bounty hunter that we're trying to capture. So there's gunfights and heartache and adventure and Wild West and <laughs> everything like that all wrapped into one film, so. How was it um, being on the set with everybody, especially in New Mexico? You're, I'm assuming you're in the desert for a little bit of it. Was it, what, what was the camaraderie like? What was the most exciting thing going on on set? Well, you know, I thought it was a lot of fun to work with Buck Taylor. He's, you know, he was on Gunsmoke, and I know my both my grandpas were big Gunsmoke fans. And um, this picture actually is, I don't know if you can see it right here, it's mm -hmm. this one right here. Um, Buck actually painted that and, and signed it and everything, and I thought, oh, that's so sweet of you, because, you know, he, he sells them online, too. He's, he's a great painter. Um, uh, so it, it was a lot of fun working with him um, on set. Will you do a Western movie again after this? Oh, I would love to. Yeah, that was it was a lot of fun. Um, I, I did get to learn the um, the John Wayne Flipcock mm -hmm. for this movie, so I'd, I'd love to do that in another one too. <laughs> that was kind of a cool move that you get to do. So, and another thing that I love about this is um, there is an element of faith to it too, because Alice she definitely has a character arc, and I kind of think that her arc starts before the film even begins, because when they're kicked out of town she's kind of ready to leave already and she says over and over again you know there's a, something about forgiveness and you know she is a woman of god and she wants to change so that's another thing that i that i really think is cool about the movie that just adds like another element to the character and another another arc to it is having you know having faith she's literally out in the desert on with nothing and she's she still wants to go open up a restaurant and you know she relies on on her faith so that's great. It, it definitely sounds yeah. like Two Sinners and a Mule is, is packed with everything that you're going to want if in a great movie right there. Yeah. <laughs> and so I have one last question for you. You know, obviously you're starring in here action western movies, you're producing horror movies. Is there any, any advice you might have for young women out there trying to do what you're doing to break into the movie industry, to, to become a star? Yeah, you know, I would say... What, what you should do is, um, I think that being able to write is a great opportunity to start creating your own work. It's sort of like you get to tailor the character that you would want to play and tailor the movie that you would want to be in. Um, also being collaborative with other people because it, it really takes a village to make a movie or a play or to do anything. It definitely takes more than one person. So um, yeah, just you know, making making your your tribe and and getting people together so that you can all create together. So I think that's that's important. And then also, like Alice says, having faith, faith in God and faith that everything will work out. And um, I think you put those two together and you can succeed pretty well, so. It takes a village to produce <laughs> a lot of these things that you're seeing on TV and in the, in the big screen. <laughs> Oh, definitely. It's, you only see what's in front of the camera. There's a whole mess back there <laughs> behind the camera of people making it happen. So. Of course. All right. Well, Chantel, thank you again for joining us today. And everybody, be sure to check out Two Sinners and a Mule in select theaters and available everywhere on demand. Chantel, thanks again. Thank you.